This presentation is on dimensional analysis, or in other words, a way to convert from one unit to another. So this is just a really good way to avoid losing easy points on exams and assignments. Because a lot of times, if you don't keep track of your units, it can be really difficult to make sure that you have the right answer. So this is a guaranteed way of keeping track of your units. So first off, what is dimensional analysis? So it's just a way of, of organizing your calculations when converting from one unit of measure to another. So for example, what if I wanted to know how many miles 440,444 inches is? It's not intuitive, so we need to do some calculations to figure that out. So I would use dimensional analysis to solve the problem. So this is very helpful in both math and science courses, especially chemistry and physics, when you really need to start keeping track of all your units. So just as a, as a way of, well, you know, just to give you a tip here, it's tempting to rush through this process and try to just convert units really quickly, but it can get messy, so take your time and walk carefully through the process and you'll actually end up saving yourself some time in the, in the long run. So let's run through an example. So let's say I want to know how many inches. This is a different example than the previous one that we talked about, but I'll get to that at the end. Let's say I want to know how many inches are in four kilometers. That means I need to convert kilometers to inches. So the question here is four kilometers equals how many inches? So it is helpful to know some common conversions before you get started. So here's some examples. I'm not going to tell you to memorize these necessarily, but ask your teacher specifically what he or she expects you to know. A lot of times teachers will give you these conversion factors, and a lot of times maybe they'll have you memorize them. So it just depends on what your teacher wants, but make sure you ask so you're, so, so you're sure. So the first step you want to do is draw a grid. So if we want to know 4 kilometers equals how many inches, this is the first step in, t in solving that problem. So we draw a grid, something like this. So you may not draw it all the way because you may not know how many steps you need to take to get to, from one unit to the next, and that's okay. So you can always just add on more as you go, right? So you just start off by drawing a grid, and then the second step, you're going to write the unit you're trying to get rid of on the top left square. So here, what, what unit are we trying to get rid of, and what unit are we trying to get to? We're trying to get rid of 4 kilometers, and we're trying to go to inches. So we're going to put 4 kilometers on the top left square. And under that, we just put 1, because 4 kilometers over 1, or anything over 1, is just itself. So 1 is just really a uh, placekeeper. It's, it doesn't really mean anything. Alright, so the next step is we want to think of the first conversion that we need to get closer to our target unit. So again, our target unit is inches, so we're trying to get smaller. So kilometers is a pretty big unit, so the, one of the first things we can do is go from kilometers and get it down at least to meters. Alright, so if we decide we want to go to meters, the first thing we want to do so we put the unit we're trying to get rid of on the bottom. So we're trying to get rid of kilometers and the unit we want to keep or we want to get to on the top. And the reason for that is because the top, anything on the top represents multiplication and anything on the bottom represents division. So if you have kilometers on the top and kilometers on the bottom, they end up canceling each other out and then you end up in meters. So four times a thousand so 4 kilometers is the same thing as 4,000 meters. So let's keep going and get a little bit closer. So the next thing we want to do is convert meters to centimeters. So we're trying to get smaller and smaller. So there's 100 centimeters for every meter. So just remember, put the one that you want to get to on the top and the one you're getting rid of on the bottom so they can divide out. So 4 times 1,000 times 100 is going to convert kilometers to centimeters. But we want to get to inches, so we need to know what the conversion factor is between centimeters and inches. And it just so happens that for every 2.54 centimeters, there's one inch. So remember, I put centimeters on the bottom because I want to divide out my centimeters, and I ended up in inches. So it looks like I'm just about there. I just have to do the math. So 4 times 1,000 times 100 divided by 2.54. 
And remember, if we're talking order of operations, it doesn't matter the order that you do multiplication and division. They can go in any order. So you could do 4 divided by 2.54 times 1,000 times 100. It doesn't matter. So any order you want to do it, just make sure you know that the top, anything on the to top gets multiplied and anything on the bottom gets divided. So our answer is 4 kilometers is approximately 157,480 inches. All right, so let's go back to our original problem that I had in the example. So our first step is just let's draw our grid. The second step is let's put the unit we're trying to get rid of in the top left, and then we'll put one underneath it just to represent just a placeholder again. So we're trying to go from inches to miles this time. So a good step in that process, we're trying to go from a smaller unit to a bigger unit. So a good conversion that is commonly known as inches, so inches to feet. So we can take that step. So remember, for every one foot, there's 12 inches. So we'll put 12 inches on the bottom so they can cancel each other out and one foot on the top. So there, our inches cancel each other out. So we're going to do 440,444 divided by 12 to get to to get to feet and then we know our conversion from feet to miles there's 5,280 feet for every one mile so again we put feet on the bottom because that's what we're trying to get rid of and mile on the top because that's what we're trying to end up with and so what we do is we do 440,444 divided by 12 divided by 5,280 so we end up with approximately seven miles and that is dimensional analysis so I hope that was helpful